it's that time of the year when uh, big tech companies are having their developers conferences for the year so for today let's get into what google has in store when it comes to android 13 chrome os and a whole slew of announcements around the pixel 6a and pixel 7 smartphones <laughs> Hey, what up? It's your boy Mob Justice back again with another video. And for today, we get into all the news around uh, Google's annual developers conference that is Google I.O. As always, this uh, video is brought to you by the team over at Lion Media. Uh, head on over to check out some of the crispiest uh, photo, video, and audio content. That's www.lionmedia.com. Head on over, uh, check it out, and just see uh, what the team can do for you. It's that time of the year when the big tech companies show off uh, their latest innovations when it comes to software. In a couple of weeks, we expect to see Apple's worldwide development conference that is WWDC but for this week we are focusing on Google uh, that came out with its IO event now usually when it comes to Google I always tend to get um, the latest when it comes to things like Android as well as Chrome OS and all the other software innovations that Google has but for this year they announced a lot of hardware it was something that was a little bit surprising but when one thinks about all the leaks that tend to surround uh, Google devices such as the pixel I guess they decided to get um, ahead of it but one of the overarching themes is that you sort of get the sense that Google is really trying to fill out um, their ecosystem when it comes to hardware as well as software. Starting off with the hardware, we saw Google announcing a number of uh, different things, but the two big ones was firstly the Pixel 6a. Uh, the A series tends to be Google's uh, mid-range um, set of phones. Last year, we saw the Pixel 5a and now we have the 6a, which is a toned down version of uh, the Pixel 6 flagship uh, that has been there uh, for this year. It's coming in with uh, the Tensor chip, uh, that is Google system on the chip, or basically the silicon um, and uh, that's allowing for a number of different features such as live translate and all the great camera features that we've known to uh, that we've come to know when it comes to uh, Google and its pixel range the phone itself features a 6.1 inch screen and is coming in at a price point of four hundred and forty nine dollars and when it comes to the camera which tends to be the big standout feature they've used uh, the same um, sensor that's been on previous uh, pixel devices tried and tested and it seems to be one of the ways that they were able um, to cut on some of those costs so that they can bring it in at that price point. At $449, the Pixel 6a uh, lands itself squarely in the mid-range market uh, with a slew of Android devices uh, that are on offer. But on the side of Apple, it's competing with the iPhone SE. I actually like um, the look and feel of uh, the Pixel 6 range, but my biggest disappointment is that they've chosen to take away um, the headphone jack from this year's um, A series phone because they had it on the Pixel 5a and I'd actually been holding out because this was going to be uh, a really great phone that had a headphone jack. I stay, you know, in Africa and as far as I'm concerned, getting rid of the headphone jack, I still say it was the wrong decision and it was because it's still one of the few uh, truly universal standards out there. And in a lot of parts of the world, um, people are still using wired um, headphones of some sort to listen. People don't have money for dongles. People don't have uh, money for, you know, uh, truly wireless listening and all of that. So it would have just been nice uh, for Google to continue that theme uh, just so that they can cater to some of those aspects of the market. Perhaps the biggest announcement of the day was Google showing off uh, the new Pixel 7. It's looking to be a really great uh, flagship device from Google because it's featuring largely the same design, except that uh, they've revised um, the visor or the camera housing on the back uh, to feature an aluminum design. I really like the way that it looks. As I said, the Pixel 6, I think it was uh, probably the best looking of the Pixel phones 
builds up to this point and them continuing in the same spirit uh, looks to be a good thing it's going to be featuring the latest generation of uh, the tensor chip that we've seen from google so we really expect a lot of horsepower um, out of that now outside of uh, the two pixel phones google made a number of other hardware announcements starting off with the pixel watch and in the same way that the pixel phones um, are sort of uh, the android the pure android phones uh, to watch it looks like google wants the pixel watch to be the wear os watch uh, that people can see the latest and greatest from that end it's looking to be taking advantage of google's acquisition of fitbit because you see a lot of integration with that and also at the same time um, displaying a lot of the new features um, from uh, wear os featuring a round circular design Google also announced the Pixel Buds Pro, which are their wireless earbuds uh, competing directly with the AirPods Pro. They're coming in at $199 and they feature active noise cancelling. And through the software, Google's actually trying to integrate uh, more and more the Pixel Buds um, with the different Android devices to make for seamless switching uh, between devices. As impressive as all the different pieces of hardware were, I was most impressed by the glasses. Google seems to have not forgotten that they once tried to make Google Glass a thing. And I think right now they've gone back to the drawing board and come back um, with a set of glasses that provide the ability to do live translations and they're calling it subtitles for life. And from the demo that they showed, it's looking to be quite an impressive device and I'd really, really be keen uh, to get my hands on these. Google also announced that they're going to be launching a Pixel tablet um, in 2023. Google is no stranger to the tablet game. They did uh, used to have a line of Nexus tablets back in the day. So we wait to see what's going to happen with these ones. There weren't a lot of details, but Google did say that this is going to be the ultimate companion device to the Pixel phones. But we did get quite a few details when it came to um, the software. And that leads us you know, nicely into um, the main software. And that is uh, Android 13, which is going to be the latest version of the Android operating system that is used on you know smart devices such as this the big things seem to be around the fact that uh, they are continuing with their material U design language and the fact that uh, because of that icons will be able to blend in better when it comes to things like colors and uh, the overall themes um, when it comes to the phone and then uh, they're also featuring new media controls uh, that actually change with the type of uh, songs uh, that are person is listening to at a given point and then they also gave uh, multi-language support where basically you can have different apps operating in a different language so say for example your messages app can be um, the menu items etc can be in english but if you're also french speaking then maybe your calendar app can be in french or something like that i think it's an interesting one Practically, I don't know who's actually going to make use of such a feature because it would be nice to have your phone all in one language. But I guess the research over at Google has shown otherwise. There was also a big theme around increasing uh, privacy. Uh, you can definitely see that the likes of Apple are pressuring a lot of the other big tech players to increase um, access to privacy, data privacy, and all of that. And we saw um, Google talking about how they're going to have an ad center that allows people um, to control the types of ads that they see. They also showed off RCS, which is the rich communication standard, if I remember correctly, uh, which is basically an evolution um, of uh, SMS uh, that is way more secure. They were talking about end-to-end -end encryption. And also at the same time, you'll see that it probably has a little bit more compatibility uh, when messaging you know, people that are on iMessage, uh, for example. The other thing that's interesting is that uh, Google together with Microsoft and Apple are working on a set of standards that will create a passwordless future uh, because it seems that passwords are one of those things that they're trying to get rid of because people have a lot of passwords you forget them you tend to use the same one 
and it becomes a point of vulnerability and they're trying to find new ways to do this or a way to see how they're going to do that. And then lastly, they showed off something called Google Wallet. And you can tell that this is once again, another piece in response to uh, what we're seeing over on the um, iOS and Mac side um, with, you know, with uh, the ability to store uh, bank cards as well as identity documents such as a driver's license, national ID, uh, vaccination certificates and the like on your phone, meaning that you don't have to carry a physical wallet with you. Given some of the Chromebooks that we've reviewed on this platform, uh, I do have a keen interest now just to see some of the announcements uh, that are coming out from Google about the evolution um, of that platform. And it was cool to see some of the design changes that are coming to Chrome OS. And one of the ones I'm interested in is uh, the phone hub, which will basically allow for people to have messaging uh, that will be happening. If you have messages coming in on your phone, you'll be able to link them uh, to your Chrome device and be able to message people over there. Obviously, we've seen something like this happening with iMessage, which uh, allows you to message on an iPhone, an iPad, uh, a MacBook, etc. So seeing all of that functionality um, on Chrome OS, I'll be interested to see how the implementation is done. So in conclusion, I think it was a solid set of uh, announcements all around when it comes to the software that is Android 13, uh, when it comes to a lot of the hardware, particularly uh, the Pixel phones and especially those glasses. But those glasses are a point of caution because we hope that um, a lot of the things that were announced will come to market because I like what MKBHD said. He broke down uh, the different announcements to say things that are about to come, things that are you know yet to come and then things that may come so we hope that you know things like the glasses are things that we're going to see actually coming uh, to the market but otherwise really keen to get a lot of these devices in hand so that's been it you can let us know what you think of uh, all of these announcements that have come out of google are you excited uh, about anything here i'm excited about the glasses are you going to be using the latest version of android are you a pixel device user you can let us know in the comments and i'll catch you guys in the next video hey this is baby g and you're watching the mob justice channel follow us on twitter instagram and facebook live it love it like it this is the mob justice tv